Hey guys, Sarah Helena here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Just Beyond, so stay tuned. Okay, so Halloween is a few days away, so I figured I would get into the Halloween spirit by reviewing the new Disney Plus series Just Beyond. Okay, so... This review is going to be very odd. Um, I'm going to give my general non-spoiler review about the show. And then, while still avoiding spoilers, I'm going to go through the episodes and give it a rating on this scare meter that will probably be on this side. Maybe this side. I don't know. It's somewhere on the screen. Um, so that way you can see how scary I thought each episode was. Full disclaimer, I don't really do well with, like, scary horror type shows. So, I could be way off. I don't know. Um, and then I will be ranking the episodes based off of my personal preferences. So, when I do that, there will be some spoilers. So, non-spoiler thoughts about the show in general. Then, non-spoiler scare ranking of each episode. And then, spoilers for when I rank the episodes. There's timestamps in the description down below if you just want to skip to certain parts. Okay. So... Just Beyond is an anthology series that is based off of Boom Studios graphic novels by, by R.L. Stein. Now, I love R.L. Stein. Like, I know I said I don't do well with, like, horror and creepy, but, I mean, I grew up reading Goosebumps, and I read Fear Street um, in high school when we had to, you know, do, like, requisite reading. Um, so I did, like, the Fear Street books then. Um... Yeah, like, his stories are amazing. So, I was super excited to see what this show looked like because despite being an R.L. Stein fan, I've never read the Just Beyond comics. Like, I didn't even know they existed, honestly. So, I was very excited to see what this show would look like. Now, all the episodes were pretty good. Like, I think there's some episodes that are, like, standouts as amazing. And then there's some that are, you know, middle of the line good. And then there's some weaker ones. Um, but overall, like, there was something interesting and good about each episode, even if the whole episode itself didn't necessarily feel great. So, yeah, um... I was also very pleased with the variety of scariness in the episodes. Um, because this is an anthology series, each episode is a standalone episode. Um, and some were terrifying and some were not really scary at all. So <laughs> I like that there was like a variety. Um, so that way, like, it wasn't all too scary or it wasn't all too not scary at all. Like, some found a middle ground between being, you know, scary and also, you know, not. And some were just terrifying and some were just not. <laughs> um, yeah. And like I said, because it's an anthology series, you can pick and choose which episodes you want to watch. If it, like, feels too scary or whatever, then you can skip it. If it doesn't feel scary enough, you can skip it. Like, you're not forced to watch all of them. Um, so that's really good. Now, in terms of the scariness level, though, I would say it's fine for older kids. Um, I probably wouldn't let anyone under the age of 10 watch it um, unless you as their parent or guardian have watched it and deemed it acceptable to watch. Um, 
But then again, that's just me. Like, I don't know nothing about anything. So I would say regardless of children's ages, watch it as a parent or guardian. Decide from there. And yeah, because I don't know anything about kids and all that stuff. I'm just taking a guess. And I would say 10, but you know. Some would say younger. Some would say older. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I am in no way an expert on this. So, yeah. Um, if the children scare especially easily, it might be a good idea to just skip the show for them. Um, but, yeah. Now, the intro. Um, it's a unique intro, for sure. Um... But it's honestly really weird and kind of terrifying a little bit. Um, so I would say, you know, if you want to judge for yourself, watch the intro. But if you scare relatively easily... Um, I would say skip the intro. I watched the intro for the first episode and then every other episode I just skipped the intro because I was like, nope, I'm good. <sighs> um, all right, <laughs> now we're bringing out the scare meter. So I'm going to go through all the episodes and rank them on the scare meter. Um, and I will avoid spoilers um and yeah so episode one leave them kids alone i would say is a two on the scare meter like the episode itself isn't like terrifying it's more just like a feeling of uneasiness when watching like you know something is off about um, everything going on when you're watching it. But it's not scary. Like, it's one of the tamer episodes. I wouldn't say it's the tamest episode, but it's one of the tamer ones. So, yeah. Episode 2. Parents are from Mars. Kids are from Venus. I would say is a four on the scare meter um it's more intense than it is scary but there is still like scary elements to it but overall i would say it's more of an intense episode than a downright terrifying episode so <laughs> episode three which which i would say is a one on the scare meter like this is one of the tamest episodes in the series. Um, the scariest thing in this episode is... Yeah, I would say it's not really spoilery because of the title. Um, is seeing the witch as her true self. But, like... It's just... A tiny bit different. Um... So, it's not really scary. Um, now, what I will say about this, and it's not really spoilery to an extent, but if you are squeamish around, like, insects and bugs, then you may want to, you know, skip this episode because there is a scene in the episode that features a lot of insects. <sighs> okay. Episode four, my monster, I would say is a nine on the scare meter. Like this is the most terrifying episode of the series. Um, there's plenty of jump scares in it. And the aforementioned monster is pretty scary looking like, yeah, I would say if you scare easily and you especially don't like jump scares and stuff like that, I would say skip this episode entirely because the whole episode is just like filled with jump scares and this creepy looking 
monster. Um, yeah, it's the most terrifying episode of the series. So if you do watch it and you can handle it, then the rest of them are fine. Um, episode five, Unfiltered, I would say is a two on the scare meter. And honestly, really, it's only for the part near the end. It's not at the very end, but it's like near the end. Um, where sort of everything that's been going on in the episode comes to a head. Um, but other than that, the rest of the episode is pretty tame, I would say. So, I give it a two for the part where everything sort of comes together. And it's just, that part's a little scary. A little bit. But, um, I think, like, older kids would be fine with it. Because it's not really, really scary. Um... Then we have episode six. We've got spirits. Yes, we do. Now, this one I would say is about a three on the scare meter. Um, there's a little more scary parts than um, the previous episode, episode five. Um, but it's not too scary. Like, if you're not a fan of ghosts, maybe skip this episode because ghosts are very heavily featured. Um... I would say the main reason for the three is this um, larger ghost. Um, that could be pretty terrifying. But yeah, I would say three, maybe a four for that. Maybe I'll stick with three. I'm going to stick with three. Um, but it's between three and four, so... <laughs> Episode 7, Standing Up for Yourself, I would say is a 1 on the scare meter. Like, it's not really scary. Like, the scariest things that happen have to do with the grandma. Um, There's a grandma in this episode, and she does some things that um, cause, like, things to shake and yeah that could be seen as a little bit terrifying but honestly I would say a one because it's not as scary as the other episodes that are on this list episode eight the treehouse I would say is a one also on the scare meter like it's not really scary um yeah like it's not really scary at all um but, yeah, so I would say one. Um, all right, so now I am going to rank the episodes from my least favorite to my favorite. And spoilers will be discussed. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't seen the show yet, have you, if you haven't seen the episodes yet, um, you can go check them out and come back here. Or, if you don't mind the spoilers, stick around, hear what I thought about each episode. Yeah, that type of thing. Alright. Okay. So, in 8th place, I have episode 7, Standing Up for Yourself. Now, I love the twist ending that the grandma changed Larkinville to Burgersville to get back at Trevor and to essentially make the town better. But it was sort of a really odd episode. Like, we spend all this time with Trevor, who is basically a sociopath. And it's like, okay. When his life gets ruined by grandma, you want me to feel sorry for him? Because I don't and I'm kind of team grandma. Um, yeah, I think it was like one of those weird episodes where I was like, what is this episode? Like, there wasn't anything scary really about this episode except for like the grandma, you know, casting the spell and making everything shake and the wind gust and all that. But, um, honestly, team grandma. So, yes, do that, grandma. <laughs> like, 
show this sociopath that it is wrong to literally be a terror to a whole town. Like, because he's not just a terror to the kids, like, in school. Like, he's not just a bully to the kids in school. He's a bully to literally every single person in town. Like, the gardener, the painter, the male woman, like, the teachers. He's a, like, terror to them all. So, yeah. Show him what's up, Grandma. Do it. <laughs> um, in seventh place, I have episode eight, The Treehouse. Now, this is a really sweet episode with, like, Sam getting, you know, trapped in a parallel universe where um, both his mom and his dad are alive, and he gets to spend that time with his dad. Um, we don't really know what happened to his dad except for the fact that his dad died. And I would presume that it was suddenly. And, you know, it was nice to see Sam be able to get closure and actually, like, get to say goodbye to his dad, essentially. Um, but overall, like, the episode is just sort of okay. Like, it wasn't great. It wasn't really even, like, good. It was just sort of meh. So, yeah. In sixth place, I have episode one, Leave Them Kids Alone. Now, I love the uneasiness about this episode where, like, you can see that something is very seriously off with the girls at Ms. Genevieve School for Disobedient Girls versus the episode just being kind of downright terrifying. But I think this episode would have benefited almost from being a terrifying episode because it just kind of made Miss Genevieve a boring villain. Like, yeah, I mean, she was, like, mind-controlling the kids. But, like, she was kind of a boring villain and... I don't know. I think this episode would have been benefited from being downright terrifying a little bit. Or just even a little bit more terrifying. Because, yeah. Now, in fifth place, I have episode three, Witch Witch. Now, this was a fun episode. I loved seeing the different dynamics with Fiona and her cousin Luna. Um, but I really wish that it had been a little bit more spooky. Like... I mean, we're dealing with witches, and yet nothing really terrifying happens. Like, nothing even sort of remotely scary even happens. Like, I don't know. Like, I also, like, feel like even though I enjoyed the twist that um, Emilio, um, the boy that Fiona had a crush on, was a vampire. I almost kind of wish that he had just been a normal guy who liked Fiona because it's like, oh, you're a witch, so the only people that are going to, you know, like you and respond to you are other sort of supernatural um, characters. And it's like, why couldn't he just be a normal guy? Like, why? Why couldn't he just be a normal guy? Um, Yeah. I mean, it was a fine episode, I guess. But, yeah. In fourth place, I have episode five, Unfiltered. Now, I really enjoyed this episode. Like, I knew things were going to go poorly when Lily used the app to change her appearance. And I 100% guessed that that Miss Faust? I don't know how to say her name. Like, I think they only mentioned it maybe once. Um... Yeah, I called her being suspicious, but I didn't know what she was actually doing. Like, so when the twist showed up that, like, she was, like, taking their souls by them using this app, I was kind of like, okay. All right, that's interesting. Um, I mean, another fun episode, just meh. Um, in third place, I have episode two. Parents are from Mars, kids are from Venus. Now, the suspense in this episode, 
um, as Jack and Ronald are trying to survive their alien parents who they think are going to like try to kill them or abduct them. It was sort of like, okay, like it's suspenseful. It's like kind of terrifying a little bit because it's like, okay, like what's going to happen with these kids? Um, but yeah, I mean, the episode resolves pretty normally with the kids also being aliens. And I mean, I kind of thought maybe that would be the case, but I think it would have been a little bit more interesting if the kids weren't and the parents were actually trying to kill them. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, I think that would have made it a little bit better. Um, would have made it still more scary. Um, but I mean, I don't mind the twist that they were also aliens. Now, in second place, I have episode four, My Monster. Now, like I said when I was doing the scare meter, this was the most terrifying episode. And normally, I probably would have been like, nope, can't do it. Um, but I sat through the episode and I'm really glad I did because... It was really fun to, you know, see that the mom also saw this monster and, you know, helps Olivia realize that the monster shows up when she's, you know, scared or nervous. And that allows Olivia to um, face her fears, especially when the monster was going after her little brother. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, this monster's going to kill her brother. Like... And she literally goes and she saves her brother and she tells the monster to stop it. And that was really sort of her facing her fears and coming to terms with the fact that, you know, there are things in her life that she's not okay with and she has to kind of deal with it. Um, yeah, I also like that we never got to see the monster under the mask, like, she takes the mask off, but we don't see the monster. I think that allowed for him to still be, you know, terrifying in many ways. Um, yeah, overall, it was a pretty good episode. Um, just downright terrifying, and I wasn't sure if I was going to, like, survive the episode. But I did, and I'm glad I did, because it was actually pretty good. Um, but in first place, I have episode six, We've Got Spirits, Yes, We Do. Now... Granted, I think this might be my favorite episode because it found the balance between um, spooky and not um, for me. Like, it wasn't too scary, but it had, like, scary elements, like, with, like, the critic ghost. Um, that was pretty scary. Um, but, yeah. I love the haunted theater angle. Like, that that just, that made my day. Um, I also like that the ghosts were actually pretty friendly. Like, they were just wanting to put on a show. Like, they were supposed to put on the show. The fire happened. They didn't get to. And they just want to do that. <laughs> like, and I love that when they finally got the chance to do it with the critic ghost um, being Dolores... The girl that got kicked out of the group when they finally, like, put on the show with all of them um, in front of Ella, I think her name was. I feel like her name was Ella. Um, I feel like once they, like, put on that show, they were able to just sort of move on. Rather than, you know, remaining ghosts in the theater. Um, yeah, it was a fun episode. I think the right amount is scary for me. And that's why I have it at number one. Because it found a balance. So, let me know. Did you watch all the episodes of Just Beyond? Or did you watch some of them? Or did you just skip the series altogether? I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this show. You can let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, leave a like. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And turn on notifications so you can be notified when I upload my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in another video.
Bye, guys.